Well, amidst the rising cost of living, more than 91,000 regional jobs are on offer across Australia. 91,000. The Regional Australia Institute has today launched the biggest regional recruitment drive in the nation's history, as new data shows nearly half of all city workers would be persuaded to move to the regions for a better paying job. Joining me now live is Regional Australia Institute Director of External Affairs, Loretta Wallace. Loretta, thank you so much for joining us. So, so that's a lot of jobs on offer and I was reading it equates to about $1.7 billion in untapped wages. That's huge. So tell us about this recruitment drive. Absolutely, Danica. We are in, the, regional Australia is in the midst of a jobs boom. There is not one industry, not one sector that isn't struggling to find workers. Uh, so today, as of today, we are sparking a national conversation aimed specifically at what we're calling regionally curious uh, capital city Australians saying, look, if you want to escape the congestion um, that all uh, topical rising cost of living, we have a job and an even better lifestyle for you waiting in regional Australia. I guess people often think that the city is typically where the money is made and where there are higher incomes. Are the regions the same then by way of income? I mean, that's key here, particularly in the midst of a cost of living crisis. Yeah, so that research that we've done to inform our campaign shows that 60% of city workers don't think their current city salary is um, keeping up with the city cost of living. So um, we are looking at... Uh, attracting those people saying that you can get a great job and a fantastic salary in the regions. We have got um, 91,000 jobs on offer. That is only our internet advertised roles. That doesn't account for the jobs you see um, scribbled on pieces of paper, stuck on cafe windows, word of mouth, and also the jobs that some employees have just given up um, trying to promote. They've just found it um, so tough uh, to promote. So it's really a, a workers' market out there at the moment. And, and, and when we know that the salaries are keeping pace, the regional salaries are keeping pace with city salaries, but there's other huge incentives um, uh, available to um, help with reimbursement and relocation are, co are common incentives. Also, though, um, help with um, your kids' schooling and those um, sometimes eye-watering childcare costs. I mean, that's a great incentive, particularly amidst the cost of living crisis. But, I mean, sell it to us. If you had to sell it to us, why would you want to uproot your life and move to the regions? What are the benefits out there, do you think? Well, I just want to conjure up the picture of a, uh, a capital city person who's potentially travelling from the western suburbs of Sydney into the CBD to train bus commute at least return. They've, they've been got used to working from home, but now they're being called back into the office. They're coming home on a Friday night, not much money in their pocket to do anything with on the weekend, totally exhausted, thinking, is this what life's got in store for me? Well, we're saying this it doesn't have to be like this. Jump on to uh, movetomore.com.au, enter your skills, enter that regional town that you've been dreaming about moving to and press search and I think you'll have a whole new future unlocked for you. I mean, it's a great selling point. Uh, there's a lot of jobs on offer, 91,000. So what industries yeah. are you talking about or, or is it multiple that are looking for workers? Oh, it's absolutely across the board, and that's why the National Farmers Federation, the Master Builders Association, the Minerals Council of Australia, the National Rural Health Alliance are all backing this campaign, It's Your Move, because there's not a sector, an industry in regional Australia that isn't finding hard to find workers. As you said, it's $1.7 billion of salaries going unlocked. That's uh, money that could be going back into regional communities, going um, back to our all-important national bottom line. So... Um, there isn't, there isn't an industry that's not impacted, but, but we are seeing the most, the, the most demand for roles for doctors, for nurses, and those real all important uh, care sectors. So our aged care workers and also our early childhood educators. Yeah, the healthcare has certainly been a big one in the regions uh, in recent years. Uh, by way of population growth, though, could it be a blessing or a curse for the regions? Because if you've got so many people moving to regional Australia within a short period of time, has there been enough investment over the last few years to cater for a growing population out there? 
Well, we saw re the population of regional Australia grow by 70,000 dur during the pandemic years. And you're right, that is the reason, one of the reasons we find ourselves with this skills, jobs and skills challenge. So we were caught unawares for, um, in terms of the infrastructure, soft and hard, that we need to cater for this growing population. But it has to be a story of people. We need the people to build their houses, um, to, be, um, to be looking after our children, to, to, be, to, in, to be in our hospitals, to be in our aged care facilities, um, to, to, to power our renewable energy projects, which the heart of all of which is happening in our region. So, um, no, we were, we were caught unaware, so we need to do more, but we also need more people. People are at the heart of it. Well, it's a huge campaign, the first of this kind in Australia. Loretta Wallace, good to speak with you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you.